Local families are also watching. Meredith Anderson reporting there. Losing a loved one is tough enough. Trying to hunt for their headstone through all this grass doesn't make things any easier at all. There are three city-owned cemeteries in Augusta, Magnolia, Cedar Grove, and Westview. Each is full of history, and each one holds someone's loved one. But families say each week the conditions just keep getting worse. Here's Sydney Hood. Where I'm standing at right now, the grass is almost up to my knees and then some, and all families want to know is how and why did it have to get up to this point? It's like a wilderness. It looks like no man's land, but it's actually a man's final resting land. I remember when I was a kid, it was it was a, it was a different place. Uh, it was it was a magical place. Magic all buried. This year is the worst. I have to say in, in the my 50 years of coming down here, this this is the worst I've seen it. And you can't overlook it. I've talked with commissioners. I've gotten nowhere. I've talked with, uh, I've emailed both mayors. I've gotten nowhere. Parks and Rec Director Maurice McDowell says cemetery maintenance is the responsibility of the Richmond County Correctional Institution. You can have all the excuses in the world, but the bottom line is it needs to be done. If I don't cut my grass at home and someone calls code enforcement, they're gonna send me a letter. But our city doesn't stand by their own policies. We did see some inmates out here earlier today cutting grass, but it's unfortunately not an overnight job. You can't assume that everybody knows how to operate a zero turn or a weed eater, you know, even a push mower. Raising the question of who will care for those who can't care for themselves. Taking care of the cemeteries is an ongoing issue because you will hear the phrase, these are non-voters, so they always need advocates. I'm the above ground advocate. And she's not the only one. Thomasine Deer, who you just heard from, she actually started documenting the emails she sent city leaders. These emails go all the way back to 2016, and those city leaders have come and gone since then. Her concerns have not. And we'll be watching for some action there.